tell me, is it something that I've done again? Say what? Six five uh, combo wing uh, 
a shooting guard. He can swing back and forth, swing man. Uh, lefty, plays at Simeon High School in Chicago. Outstanding young prospect. Um, it's a factory. Yeah, yeah. And of course, he was at our uh, freshman All-American camp last year here in Atlanta. Fab Frosh camp. He was out. Uh, he's an outstanding talent. He's come back a better player. Uh, I just had a good talk with him. Uh, nice kid. And he's focused. He really wants to make a name for himself and make his mark uh, here at the Super Soft camp. Uh, like, uh, like you saw, I thought he was terrific today in, in the afternoon game, which was our uh, session two, game session two. Uh, he, was, he was great. He knocked down the three. Uh, he's getting to the basket more, but uh, I think he still needs to work on his shot selection. Not only uh, the shots he takes, but when he takes them. You know, uh, Zach likes to jack it up, and I'd like to see him get his shots off of some offense and off of some movement, uh, maybe player movement. Him moving, other players moving, come back around and maybe get it after a ball reversal and then look for your shot and look for your play, make a play. Also, I'd like to see him make plays for other people more, but he is an outstanding talent. He's a big guard wing. He's probably going to end up 6'6", and uh, he's a nice talent. You know, we, we got to mention, we didn't mention in part one, we got to mention Mark Vidal. He came back today uh, from uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana, 6'4", uh, number 19, 6'4", about 200 pounds. A power guard, uh, he worked out again today, and I know you saw that in, in the in the in the early afternoon set of games, not the late afternoon. Man, he is a sensational talent. He attacks the basket. He's explosive. He's got a man's body, and uh, I mean, he is. He's one of the top, easily one of the top five players here after the first day and a half. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Now we got a couple of more games going this afternoon. Uh, what's some players you should be on the watch list? You should be looking out. Uh, yeah, in game session three tonight, tonight's session coming up, um, I think you really want to watch uh, for um, uh, Anthony Cowan, the guard out of uh, the Washington, D.C. area, number 37, uh, 5'11", 6-foot point guard, uh, very good player, uh, plays for D.C. Assault. He can stroke it. Uh, he can stroke it bit from deep. He gets in the lane and creates. Uh, really good player, and he's uh, doing a good job of uh, distributing the basketball for his teammates. Um, I should have brought my list, but uh, I like um, uh, I like Troy Baxter. He was fantastic. Oh, Troy Baxter, nice dunk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look for Troy Baxter and Davion Thomas turned it up. Davion Thomas turned it up in his battle against Troy Baxter today in the afternoon set. So look for those two to continue to play well. Um, let's see. Uh, so many good prospects, it's, it's hard to pick them out. Um, I'd like to see, uh, I, I expect to see, let's put it like that, I expect to see more from Jawan Durham. He was not here for session one last night. He came, uh, reported to camp today uh, from Tampa, Florida, six foot nine, a top 20 big man, uh, top 20 prospect in 2016. Uh, and uh, 6'9", 200 pounder. Uh, he is a shot blocker supreme. He can do a lot of things on the offensive end, not just down and around the basket. I bet you he has a big game tonight. All right, folks, stay tuned. Also, you can follow this guy on Twitter, too. Super soft guy. And you can follow Jerry on the side, too. All this stuff. So we're going to keep it on. we we'll keep it updated. we we'll keep you on. I'm session three games. We're going to keep it updated on that. And look for tomorrow. Top 20 game, top 40 game, and all the good stuff to keep it alive.